previously what we've thought about Therapeutic Alliance and the relationship we have with our patients is it probably works and it's probably helpful, but mostly because when patients trust us, when they believe us, they're more likely to do what we say. And here we saw patients get better within a session when we provide that context of Therapeutic Alliance within the session. So what we saw is it potentially has the power to make every single thing we do better. So all the time you think about improving your manual skills, your exercise selection, those are great. Keep on doing that. But if I said that you could do one thing that made every single intervention you do more effective, you definitely want to do it, right? Well, this is that one thing. And zooming out just a little bit, so this is over the course of care. So seeing, you know, if, do, those, do those single session benefits of Therapeutic Alliance, do they disappear over the course of care? And the answer is no, it actually continues to get better. That patients do still demonstrate decreased pain. They have decreased disability. They have increased satisfaction with their treatment. They're more engaged with their treatment. And a more engaged patient is not just great for the rehab process, but it's somebody who's more engaged with their health. These are people who maybe went from passive healthcare consumers to actively involved in making decisions that help create their own health. They have increased treatment adherence and just generally improved treatment outcomes. So Therapeutic Alliance, as we're zooming out, starts to look even better.